In this tutorial, we're going to install a starter kit on a local web server. The starter kit is basically a complete Drupal installation with a production ready configuration and demo content. Complex features like a what you see is what you get editor with shortcode integration and performance enhancements are included out of the box, thus saving you many hours of development. After downloading the starter kit, we're going to move the zip file to the XAMPP htdocs folder. Now inside the zip file, all files are already contained in a folder. So you can safely unzip the file right here. Now everything's in the folder called drupal.dev. I'm just going to rename that to something simpler. Demo. Now let's have a look at the file, see if everything's there. Sometimes people complain that the menus and other links aren't working, and that's usually because the HD access file isn't there. Our next step is to create a database for the Drupal installation. We're going to use PHP My Admin. You can usually find it at localhost slash php my admin. So from here we go to databases. Fill in the name of our database, demo. And that's it. So now we can browse to localhost slash demo, the name of the folder where we put the files. And the installer will start automatically. Currently loading the configuration for the starter kit. As you can see it's all there and we're already logged in. So you can go ahead and edit or delete demo content. 